Well, happy manager Mark Collier is here. A 3 1 win, a draw only for second place Leamington. You're almost home. Yeah, two points, I've just been told by the chairman. So, you know, we're at home to St. Neots. Um, we'll be the big favourites for that one, and, you know, one we can look forward to. We're going to be good at training on Tuesday because we can buckle down and go again. Um, it's a fantastic away performance, really. We had a game plan to come and you know, hopefully get a goal, and then we knew they'd have lots of possession being the home team, but we thought if we could get ourselves behind the ball, make it difficult to break us down, which is exactly what happened. They had you know, a, a penalty that could go either way. They managed to score that, um, and they maybe had a late chance late on, but other than that, we were always a threat. Three decent goals for us from set pieces, which we knew that we were a threat from with, with the delivery. Um, and it's a perfect away performance against a decent side who are looking for three points themselves. So three massive points, absolutely massive. And the goal scorers, again, different players, and again, it's defenders getting on the score sheet. Yeah, well, well Richards is a threat in both boxes, you know, and it's a decent finish to him for the third goal. Bagridge, who scored last week, you know, he, he stopped talking about that. He'll be on and on and get that one again today. Um, he's got the first one, Nuno Felix. Yeah, it's a decent finish. Nuno's got a great strike, and, you know, he's been fighting to get himself over the halfway line of late, and he keeps saying, go, go and press on, and he's done so, and, you know, he's got a decent decent strike has got us on our way so yeah great effort by everybody you know 22 games now is it unbeaten in this division you know it's just a fantastic effort absolutely huge huge effort by everybody and you know credit credit to all the players and the staff and the, and the supporters who come out in their force today that goal for Nuno Felix do you think he's one of the unsung heroes in recent weeks yeah absolutely you know he comes to training he sits he does his job he's quiet on the coach he plugs himself into his ear his music and he gets on with his job you know, and he's, as you say, an unsung here as a left back, he was up and down, he had to mark tricky wingers most of the time, lots of them got in this division, and he, he does the job, you know. This time last year he was playing against us for Poulton in the last game of the season. Um, and I was having a little chat with him as we came off about how about coming to Chipman next year. Um, you know, a couple of weeks later we've had a conversation and he's here. So, you know, he's gone from a team that's been relegated to possibly one that could be the champions next weekend. And Will Richards, I've used so many superlatives about him this season. He was a youngster at Shrewsbury, is good enough to play at least one or two levels higher than he's at at the moment. And for a centre-back to A, score as many goals as he's got is, is one thing, but today the overhead kick? Yeah, absolutely. Great finish. You know, it's a great ball here, and then we think we're going to score, and I think he's been kept alive by Matt Smith. Um, and then it's a great overhead kick, as you say, by Will. Um, you know, I don't know, he's 15, 20 yards has gone in, but that'll be 35 yards time we get home tonight. But Will's a great player, you know, he's a great defender, he's a good lad to have around, he gets on with everybody. You know, he's a threat in both boxes as well, he's a, he's a magnificent defender, you know, him and Tim are, you know, as, as good as you're going to get. Let's not forget also the blow in the first half with Andy Sandell coming off injured. I've seen him on crutches, what's happened to him? He's just gone over on his ankle, um, he, he's gone airborne and as he's landed, he's just been nicked and he's just gone over on his ankle. I and mean, immediately it's gone up like a balloon, which is a good thing, I'm told. Um, so we get him iced up and strapped up, and you know, he'll want to be involved next week, and you know, we'll do all we can to get him out there. But it uh, just shows what we've got, you know, the leading league's goal scorers come off um, with, a, with a knock, and we still manage to score three goals. So the maths, the permutations, Leamington play away to Biggles Way, who, of course, before you beat them last weekend, were in great form. That's where they go now on Friday. Of course, if they lose, you win the league without kicking the ball. Would you go to that game on Friday or do you stay at home and play with the grandchildren? I, I don't know really. Let, let, let today settle down and have a little think about it and a little look at it. Because if you're going, I'll come with you basically <laughs> with the microphone. OK, well, we, I'll have a think about that, but I'll let you know later in the week. But, you know, as I say, they've got to push on now and get enough points to make sure they're second because they want to be at home. You know, Hitchin and Slough are both hounding them down, even though I think they both lost today. So, you know, it just shows the, you know the pressure you're under to try and win football matches in this division, uh, whoever you're playing. And as I say, I'll keep on about the 22 or 23 games. Um, that, that doesn't come without a lot of graft, a lot of hard work, and a lot of organisation. Not not just from me and Tom and the players, but from from everybody involved in this football club. You know, from the chairman to the tea lady. And, you know, it's just, uh, someone said to me once that um, teams win win championships, and, you know, uh, clubs win titles, or words to that effect. Absolutely, all, all getting together. Um, let's say that Leamington were to win on Good Friday. Of course, then it's back in in your court again on Saturday. You know that a win wraps up the league, and you've seen sometimes more than double sort of a typical average home attendance at your games in recent weeks you've got to get the whole town out now for St Neots at home next Saturday yeah absolutely you know if they can't come out now then you know if you want to support a winning team coming out next Saturday because it's going to be a great occasion you know whether we've already won it um, whether we get the trophy on that day or whether we can actually win it on the day who knows but you know we still got some work to do I'm still mindful that we've still got to get two points I know there's three games to go we've got two, two away uh, two, a difficult game at Froome we've had a fantastic season you know 
it's going to be a good day out for uh, St. Neots. They're going to come in front of eight and 900 people. And, you know, they can enjoy themselves until, until the sun goes down. I don't think they're going to go down. They're certainly not going to get promoted. They could come and spoil the party if I was their manager. That's what I'm hoping to do. But, you know, the ball's firmly in our court now. Um, the finishing line is in touching distance. You know, can we just touch that line and get over? What a mark. Well played. Thanks, Ian.